we're now going to determine if a given sequence is geometric or not. And so what we're looking at is we want to look at the sequence and we want to make sure it has a common ratio. If we can divide any two adjacent terms and get the same number every time, then it is in fact a geometric sequence. So, suppose we have the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, dot, dot, dot. Well, this is really easy to see that if we go a2 divided by a1, that's 6 divided by 3, which is 2. If we do a3 divided by a2, that's 12 divided by 6, which is also 2. And if we do a4 divided by a3, we get 24 over 12, which is also 2. Since these are all the same, that means we have found our common ratio. And the, where we go from here is that all geometric s sequences look like an equals a1 times r to the n minus 1. So in this case, a1 is 3. So we get 3 times r2 raised to the n minus 1. And for this problem, this is our geometric series. We've also found our common ratio, and we know it's geometric. Well, what if we're given an an, and we're told this is an times 2 to the n minus 1? Is this geometric? Well, the way to find out is we plug in a 1. 2 to the 1 minus 1 is 1. a to the 2 is 2 to the 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the 1, which is 2, because this was 2 to the 0. That's the step I skipped. a3 is 3 minus 2, which is 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the 2, which is 4. And notice we're just doubling as we go. a to the 4 is 2 to the 4 minus 1, which is 2 to the 3rd, which is 8. So this is geometric. In fact, any time we just have a number raised to a power and the n is in the power, it's going to be geometric, if that's all we have. Now, what about the sequence 1, 5, 10, 20, 40, dot, dot, dot? Well, 5 divided by 1 is 5, but 10 divided by 5 is 2. Since these are different, this is not geometric, and so we don't even bother coming up with its general form. And finally, we have a n equals 7 n squared plus 1. So a1 is 7 times 1 squared plus 1, which is 7 plus 1, which is 8. a2 is 7 times 2 squared plus 1, which is 7 times 4 plus 1, which is 29. And a3 is 7 times 3 squared plus 1, which is 7 times 9 plus 1, which is 63, 64. And it shouldn't take very much work to note that 29 divided by 8 is not the same as 64 divided by 29. I can't multiply 8 by any integers to get 29. And whatever it is, 3 point something, this is too small here. So these are not the same, so this is not geometric. So look at the terms, find a common ratio between or find a ratio between different steps and see if it's the same. If it is, then you've got a geometric series. If it's not, then it's not a geometric series.